All right, next one. Who will the Calgary Flames' next head coach be? Yeah, this is an important question. Uh, and again, it could happen in any day. We, we could be hearing it, you know, depending on when you're listening to the show. They may be naming their coach. Who knows what Craig Conroy is going to do. But it's very important for fantasy because it's really going to affect the way the team plays. We saw what Daryl Sutter did to Jonathan Uberdo in particular. He's the main case study. And Azam Kadri as well, but especially Uberdo. Playing under Sutter completely changed him as a player, Huberto, he drops from 115 to 55 points. And I think if Calgary ends up going with more of an offensive minded coach, you could see a major boomerang effect and you could see Huberto go back to being quite an impactful fantasy player. On the other hand, if Calgary goes with a more defensive minded coach, that could be good news for Jacob Markstrom. Uh, I know he had a bad year, but in, in, and in a good defensive system, but I still think overall you're better off with a good defense in front of you. If Calgary hires a more offensive-minded coach, then there might be even less help for Markstrom too. So it could hurt his chances to bounce back. So to me, that's a real swing team in terms of what type of direction they go with the style of coaching. Yeah, I, I said from the pretty early part of the season when they were really faltering, that team just needed a coaching change no matter what. I I understand that he did pretty well uh, last year and things like that, but uh, two years ago, I guess. But you know that was a coaching change that just didn't make any sense to me. An old school coach trying to get the young guys that a talented young core to really get going. And it didn't really work this season. And we saw that, uh, I think a new voice. I don't know who, I don't know if it even matters who it is necessarily. I feel like this team's still going to be headed in the right direction. They're too good of a group to have just missed the playoffs like that. And I do expect Huberto to bounce back. I, I don't know if I can truly trust Markstrom anymore. At first it was a, okay, he had a, a bad playoff run last season and then it turned into a whole bad season and that concerned me a little bit but they got Dustin Wolf coming in they've got some young guys that if they actually use them and they're not just making fun of them I think could actually be something that's very valuable for this crew they've got some talent there and it's you know not not a super deep prospect core but you look at how good the 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 Wranglers were this year and Mm -hmm. they just had a ton of scoring options and a great goalie and and some good defense like they could use those guys to their advantage instead of again trying to figure out which number they were in a press conference so when when you look at that I think that this team's got a good future uh again it might not even necessarily matter who specifically the coach is I do expect them to go to the playoffs but you know at the same time this is not the same coaching market it was a year ago Mm mm-hmm that's true. Yeah. And what concerns me most is the, the uh, I think Gerard Gallant's name was was thrown out there as potential fit for Calgary. But to me, that's stylistically, you're going too close to another Sutter type. I, I don't know if that's going to help fix the culture in Calgary. So I think they need more of a positive voice. And I don't know if you're going to go retread, maybe <laughs> you dust off Bruce Boudreau again. I'm not sure. Or just bring in someone who is completely fresh and is a first time NHL head coach. We'll see what happens.